because these are expensive motors. These are not the cheap flow throughs, but typically it's going to be around $200. So if you're not comfortable changing this brush, I'm warning you now, do not change it because I have seen a lot of people damage their motors and I used to encourage people to do it themselves. Now let's talk about how to change the brushes. To change these brushes, the hardest part is taking this cap off. All you have to do is just pull out on this plastic right here and you have to pull out on the plastic right here and you'll hear it kind of click sometimes but you have to pull out on both of these and lift the cap like this out out and then up when I do that the cap comes off let's watch it again out out that's it okay now let's talk about brushes these are the proper brushes for your taxis now some of the older models may use a brush that looks like this may have different colored housings but that's okay we make sure they're set up so that they, they match um, the colors may vary because we try to get the harder graphite so they'll last longer for you we don't go to the softer graphite like the original manufacturer brushes are sometimes and if you're in, in doubt at all take your phone and take a picture of the brushes you have on your current motor when you order your brushes so that way our staff will know exactly what you need but these are not interchangeable by no means. Just because you see that little bit of brass on there does not mean you can cut this plastic off and use it like this. They're very different. Uh, this doesn't have an alignment notch on it as this one does. And you will put the brush in wrong and when you put it in wrong you will damage that motor and then it's going to cost you $200 or more to get that motor replaced. It's not worth the difference. Order a set of brushes. As you'll see your motor has two brushes. Make sure that you only take out one at a time and install it. Don't take both of the brushes out and then turn around and put both the brushes in because you want to have one in place so you can compare it. So when I do this, I'm going to change this brush, but then I can look and see if this one is in, in the same length as this one. If I don't have it exactly the same, then I know I need to adjust it. I didn't put this one properly. So use one as a standard and then uh, change the other brush. After you get that one brush in, then change the other brush and compare it to this one to make sure they look alike. You would not believe some of the things I have seen come back to me for a damaged motor. I have seen these to where this one can be in as much as a quarter of an inch farther up against the commutator and then this one being uh, a quarter of an inch further out that way so there's no matching at all so some people just think you just stick them in but you don't. You have to do this exactly the same as they are installed before you change the brushes. Here's how we change the brushes. It's very simple. You do not have any wires to disconnect with this brush as you'll notice, the wire is attached to this brass that's holding that down, and then it transmits the voltage to the brush. So to change the brushes, all you're going to do is, is loosen these screws. You don't need to take them all the way out. And then pop up on that little brass clip, boom, comes right out. Now notice how long that, clip, that, that graphite is on this brush. You can also see this one has already been broken in. Um, the motor manufacturer does that. Um, notice also this notch. What you want to do is, is make sure the notch, when you put another brush in, let's just act like this is a new brush. You take it, put it up under that lip, and make sure the notch is down on the bottom, and slide it in till you feel that catch. Just then, that little notch caught in a little hole. Now, I can just kind of wiggle that a little bit to make sure it's seated, and then tighten the brush holder back down. And don't over tighten them. In fact, you'll hear this drill kind of releasing when I did that. So now we put that brush in. That's all there is to changing the brush. Now I'm going to compare this side to that side. Yep, that's the same distance. That's the same distance. Now I'm going to do the other brush, but I'm not going to do that. Just repeat what I just showed you, and then you'll have changed the brushes. Once you're through, put the cap back on, and now you're ready to go back to work.